What is up YouTube? My name is Mike. My channel is MDH5169. Just wanted to throw a quick video out there. I was actually uh, driving my stepdaughter to school this morning, started thinking about this subject and thought maybe I would tackle it in a quick video. So this one's on my phone. I apologize if the quality is not as good. And again, I just do these videos straight. No, no editing or anything like that. So forgive me if I stumble a little bit. Not that I don't stumble in the ones I edit. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, as you guys know by now, the 2019 C7 ZR1, all the specs have been released on that car, and it is basically what everybody thought it was going to be. Uh, 755 horsepower, 715 pound-feet of torque, more aero, um, more openings in front, um, heat, the, the heat soak is supposed to have been taken care of. So truly an amazing car, really a, an incredible looking car, more power, um, everything that the Z06 is, and more. So impressive car. So I started thinking about it and thinking, okay, well, what's this gonna do to the current Corvette market, specifically the C7 market? I think there are gonna be a lot of people who are gonna get, be getting rid of their Stingrays and or C7 Z06s and opting for the ZR1. So what does that mean for the market? Well, that means there's gonna be a lot of Corvettes out there for sale, specifically C7s, and I think it's a good time to get a great deal on a used C7. Whether you're looking for a Z06 or a Stingray, if you're looking to buy one, now is gonna be the time. Uh, people are gonna be making some smoking deals, gonna be a lot of supply, and probably not as much demand, so good time. Um, now, if you're looking at maybe buying a new car, maybe you're thinking, I wanna get a brand new Corvette, wanna step up, do I get the Z06 or do I get the ZR1? Well, any way you slice it, the ZR1 is probably going to be about an additional $50,000 out the door over the Z06. So my thing is, if money's not an object, you got all the money in the world and it's not that big of a deal, go for the ZR1. It's an amazing car. Everything they're touting and saying about it is, is amazing. And I don't think you can go wrong there. Um, if you're going to do a lot of track time, definitely the ZR1 is going to be a better platform to start out with than the Z06. But if you're like me, the average driver who just maybe does a little bit of spirited driving, maybe some back roads, maybe occasionally you would take it to a track day and play with it. I really think that the C7 Z06 is going to be the better bargain. I don't think there's going to be a huge, huge difference in um, like 0 to 60, 0 to 100. Uh, things like that. Not that most of us are going to experience. Most of our average drivers like me are going to experience. So um, I'd say say the $50,000, even going for a brand new one, I think that the deals are going to be very, very good on the C7Z06s. And you can get a smoking deal on one. And I think you'll be very, very happy with the car. Plus, you got an extra fifty grand in your pocket. What can you do to that Z06 for fifty grand? A lot. And it will make a very impressive car. So now, what is this? Is the what is the ZR1 going to end up doing to the C6 or even C5 market? I don't think very much, to be honest with you. Most people that own C5s or C6s own them for two reasons. Number one, that's just what they can afford, so they're not going to be able to afford to step up into a, you know a C7, Z06, or ZR1. Or number two, they just like the car better. Some people are very loyal to the C5 or even the C6, and they're not interested in stepping up to the C7. So I think that market's gonna stay pretty consistent. Um, and I've been watching the Z06 market, the C6 Z06 market, and it seems to be staying right around the mid 30s is what you can get a good low mileage C6 Z06 for. So I don't see that changing very, very much. But if you're looking for a C7, like I said, whether it be a Stingray or a Z06, and you're looking to buy a used vehicle, and most of these cars haven't been driven very much anyway, you're gonna get a smoking deal. Just start looking around out there, start watching it. You're gonna see the prices coming down and people are gonna be wanting to get rid of them so they can step up to the ZR1. So that's my thoughts. You guys chime in below, tell me what you think. Do you have a difference of opinion or what have you? I appreciate hearing from you. Um, I wanna thank you guys for 200 subscribers and still growing, I love it, I appreciate it. Um, like I said before, if I can get up to 1,000 subscribers by January 1st, 2018, which I know still another 800 subscribers are going, we got about six weeks, but if I can get there, I will do the next mod on the Z06 and step it up a little bit more horsepower wise and like I said, do an intake, maybe even exhaust. So we'll see how that goes, but thank you guys so much. If you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. Um, if you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, MDH5169, Facebook, MDH5169. Again, I'm going to throw the P.O. box in as I always do. I would really love it if you guys would send me a picture 
of your guys' car and maybe a one or two paragraph description on it and tell me why the car is special to you, I will feature it in a video. And with that, God bless, take care, have an amazing day.